Welcome back for another edition on Things Vape. I, of course, am Jason, and tonight we have another e-juice review for you guys. And tonight's e-juice is going to be from the Vape and Jay's line. It's going to be the fourth flavor out of the five flavors in the line. And this is going to be called Rum Springer. Okay, so what is Rum Springer? Well, as far as I am, can understand it, and as far as I know, um, Rum Springer is a rite of passage that the youth go through in the Amish community. I don't really know anything more than that, and I'm not going to speculate on anything more than that. I'm not trying to offend anybody by talking on something that I don't really know about, and I'm not going to speculate on something that I can't fully know about. So um, that's as far as I'm going to go with what Rum Springer means. I'm going to take you guys through the website. We're going to go through the labeling, the bottling, the pricing, the flavor profile, the description that's on the website. I'm going to give you that. Um, also, we're going to be running this through a dripper and a tank, both. I want everybody included, so um, I know this uh, dripper and this mod does not really match and look kind of ugly the way it is, but I'm doing another review um, for the last flavor of this line right after this, and I didn't want to use the same RDA because of the profile in this liquid here in the rum springer. So, the mod we're going to be using is the Smock G3 G320 mod. And then we're going to be using the Apocalypse or the Apocalypse RDA from Armageddon Manufacturing. And then for the dripper, using my favorite dripper, the stainless steel TFV8. Um, this has the quad coils in it. It's new new coil head in there, and I've already got the liquid loaded up in there and soaking into the cotton as we speak. So, Rum Springer, where can you get it? I'm going to go ahead and take you guys to the website now. We're going to go to www.vapenjays.com. I'm going to go ahead and put that at the bottom of the screen here. I also put the link, to, the direct link to the product in the product in the uh, video description. So, what is the flavor profile of Rum Springer? On the website, it says sweet strawberries, tart limes, and a slight cool mint rush combined to take you on. I believe it says combined to take you on a delicate walk on the wild side. I believe. I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but I, I think that's about 95% correct. Sorry, Jay, if I totally screwed that up. But, okay, so we're getting limes, strawberries, and mint. So um, I vaped this a little bit. Uh, it's got a little bit of a cooling mint hit, uh, hit to it. So that's why I wanted to use a different um, dripper that I'm going to be using for the last flavor in the line which I will be finishing up tonight. So um, I did see uh, the one of the owners of this line, Jay Hardesty, I did see him on a live feed about four or five, maybe six months ago on the Vaping Legion Network, Vaping Legion Network's uh, live stream, and they were talking to him about um, labeling and all the labeling bullshit that's going on in the market now with all the IP infringing, child peeling juices. And he was, And he said that, um, he had a hard time getting this into distros, and he don't, uh, at the time, I don't know if it's in distros yet, but at the time he said that um, he couldn't get in, into distros because his label wasn't flashy enough. So he said that the reason they picked this pink um, color was because uh, this shade of pink would not be allowed in the Amish community. So he figured that it's going to be a, more of a wild juice, so they needed a wilder label, and this is about as wild a label as he's going to get. So, you know, I, you know, I commend them for that. You know, don't sell out just, just to get your product in a distro. If they don't want to carry it, fuck them. That's on them. All right. If you're carrying a good quality product, the juice should be able to stand up without the labeling. That's my opinion. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys how much this stuff's going to cost. It's going to be... For a 30 mil, it's going to run you $16.95. For a 60 mil, it's going to run you $27.95. For a 120 mil, it's going to run you $39.95. And the nicotine strengths it comes in is 0, 1 1.5, 3, and 6. Except for the if you uh, go for the 120 mil option, that only comes in a 3. This is a 80-20 VG or 80 VG, 20 PG uh, ratio in this. And I will be vaping a three milligram. 
Now, I did get this as the sampler pack, which is an option. You can get the sampler pack for $64.95, and you're going to get all five flavors for that price. Um, also, I will say that uh, whenever you order these liquids, um, they will come with, if you order the 30 ml bottles, it will come with the 30 ml unicorn bottle along with it. So since I got all five of them, he sent me five unicorn bottles. If you order the 60 ml, it's going to come with a 60 ml unicorn bottle with a labeling on there. So you can just, you know, pour it in there. You don't have to mess with the dripper and you're good to go. So, um... I think that's really cool. I think that's a cool idea. Send it out there so you don't have to mess with the glass bottles and the drippers. Awesome fucking job. Awesome idea. So, um, we're going to go ahead and smell this. And we're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you what I think of the smell of this. Okay, so. First thing I'm getting is the lime. And the strawberry is right there with it. it it's kind of hard. They're kind of neck and neck. It's not like one's overpowering the other. And then you get that mint in the back. It smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Now, if you've seen some of my other reviews that have a little bit of menthol in them, you'll know that menthol is not my thing at all. I'm not a menthol vapor. I wasn't a menthol smoker when I was smoked. So, um, I mean, if I was desperate, yeah, I'd smoke a menthol or something like that. But I didn't, I didn't smoke menthols, and I don't really vape menthols either. But, hey, good juice is good juice. If it's, if it's good, it's good. I'm going to let you guys know. Yeah, that's, that smells just amazing, and it's got a good, refreshing smell to it. Okay, so we're going to be taking you through the dripper, and I'm going to be running this at about 75 watts. Okay, so we're good to go. 75 watts, rum springer. Oh, before I start this, I'll take you guys through the labeling. All right, sorry about that. Okay, see there's a pink label that says rum springer on it. And we've got the horse and buggy on there, as we do on all the other liquids in this line. And you're going to have your warnings on one side. And your Prop 65 on the other side. And that's basically the label. Nice childbirth cap. I like the dripper. Nice clear juice. I mean, this juice is clear. It's lab-made. Lab-created juice. And so here we go. Vape and Jay's Rump Spring is 75 watts. Uh, Apocalypse RDA. Here we go. Man, that's good. I think I underdripped this. Didn't want to overdrip it, so I underdripped it. It's either one or the other. It's not ever spot on for me. It's always over drip or under drip. So I apologize for the delay. Let me get the airflow right here. There we go. That is a badass vape. I love that vape. <laughs> Even though it's got that menthol in there, or the mint. It's not really a menthol. It's a cooling mint. But it's on the tail end. So what you're getting in the first of this is you're going to get the lime and the strawberry, boom, right in the front. And that mint comes in back out from out of nowhere in the back and kind of rounds everything out. And it just brings the whole juice together. It's, I don't think this juice would really work without the mint, without the mint, the cooling mint in, that's in it. Um, so, yeah, that was... <laughs> Good call on that, for sure. This is a good vape, guys. <laughs> a lot of times lime, for me, will taste metallic. For some reason, I don't know why, but they do. They come off as metallic for me. I'm guessing because of the RDA or the tank or whatever. But this one does not do that. This is a good quality um, lime that's in here. A nice, natural, fresh lime and strawberry. Very refreshing vape. Good summertime vape very good for this time of the year and I'm really impressed with this so far so being how it's a 80-20 might have a little hard time keeping it up in the tank but we will see it's a good thick juice I mean good clear quality thick juice here we go we're going to leave it on 75 watts with the smock TFV8 here we go nope and 
now this does not want to cooperate with me. So, I apologize. Let me see if I can get this thing to work real, real quick. If not, I'm going to have to pause the camera and then bring it back. This tank has been very picky today with this mod, and I don't I really know why. Yeah, let me um, go ahead and pause this, and I'll come right back. Let me fix this up, and I will come, I will come right back. Okay. okay, guys, we're back. I'm not really for sure what the hell was going on with this dripper, but um, I was getting a... Don't abuse the uh, don't abuse the prote Protex, and the uh, it was said it was the atomizer was short now for some reason I don't know why it's been working fine all night long now all of a sudden whenever I do a review it's gonna go ahead and fuck up so I went ahead and changed over the head and everything in this uh, Rainbow um, Smog Baby Beast Cloud Baby Beast and uh, went ahead and put a new head in here and filled it up with the rum spring and it's it's setting in here so. Uh, hasn't really got a chance to soak into the coil head, but I'm going to go ahead and drip on top of the coil as well, kind of help it out a little bit. And so we're going to go ahead and vape it, and I'm going to go ahead and keep it on the 75 watts. So, I'm so like I say, I'm sorry for the, for the technical difficulty. I don't know why in the hell it chose right now when I was doing review to go and fuck up, but that's something i got to fix later on. Maybe it's uh, shorting out on the post for some reason. I don't know. I have to go in and check it out when I'm done with this video. But anyway, so here we go. Um... 75 watts cloud baby beast now um, with the smock gold um, G320 so here we go <coughs> okay so basically now what I'm getting is I'm getting a little bit of the strawberry. It's not as pronounced as it was in the um, um, dripper. I'm getting more of the lime and the mint, and the mint in this is a little bit more intense than it was in the dripper as well. I'm not quite for sure. I'm guessing because I don't know. Um, it might just be because it's a smaller tank and everything's kind of condensing. I don't have any. I don't. Have, I don't have a clue. But um, I am getting more of the mint, mentholy hit in this, and I'm getting more of the lime. As I said, the, the strawberry is there, but it's kind of faint with this tank. Um, I do like this better out of the dripper, of course, but on you know if you're out outside the house and you don't really want to use a dripper like I do, um, I usually use tanks outside the house. It uh, it's good to go. It's still good to go. It's still a good juice. Um, would I would I buy this again? Yeah, but I'd have to be in the mood to vape it. So it's not really going to be an all-day vape for me. Like it's just basically just because that mint in there. It's kind of it kind of throws me off personally. The juice itself is good quality juice. Um, is it for me? Yeah, I would vape this. You know, but like I said, I got to be in the mood for it. It's got to be a super hot day or something like that. I really have to want to be refreshed from a vape and to have this on me to vape it. Okay, so um, this is not going to be the first one that I would rebuy, but I would rebuy it. Um. Like I say, the, the price is on this a little bit high for uh, a 30 mil is 1695 but at the same time, for a good quality juice, I will pay extra for money for a good quality juice rather than a shit juice that's going to be cheaper. You get what you pay for, you know? That's been my opinion. That's been my uh, view in vaping. You're going to get what you pay for, especially if a company wants to give you a good value for your money. This is it. Uh, this is a good, good value for that money. So, yeah, Vape and Jay's Rum Spring, I can't really say any much more about it. I do approve of this juice. If you like a good menthol or a good uh, mint mixed with some good fresh fruit, this is going to be it. This nice, fresh, natural fruit. It's not a candy. It's nice, fresh, fresh, fresh natural strawberry, fresh, natural lime. Good, refreshing mint in there as well. Two thumbs up, Jay. Good job, guy. And this is going to be it for the review, so... Until next time, vape on a vape safe, and we'll see you guys later. Good night.